Woo! All right, welcome back. It's Brandon here. We've got the Tundra. We're gonna throw the Prinsu rack on top. Um, if you look online, every single Prinsu install is for the Crew Max Tundra. Um, there's not one single video in the world of a double cab install. So I'm hopefully gonna fill that hole as well as do a much better job because if you look at any of the other um, install guides from directly from Prinsu, they are absolutely, they show no detail at all. They just say like, oh, do this. And then the next clip, it's on the roof. They don't show anything at all. So I'm hoping to fill in all the gaps there um, and have a good solid tutorial on how to install this. Um, the Tundra, I know, and I think the new Forerunner is one of the ones that you have to actually drill holes into the roof of the car. Um, so that scares most people, but uh, I should be able to do that, no problem. Um, it's about one o'clock. A couple people have said it's taken six hours. I doubt it's gonna take that long. So we'll see. All right, so here's all the stuff you're gonna need for the most part. Uh, I've got my drills, a bunch of random tools. I probably won't need these much. I've got a torque wrench in case you really wanna get um, perfect with the um, forces that you're using for the bolts. I've got a half inch crescent wrench, um, a 7 sixteenths for the bolt, tape measures. I also have a, uh, a little different style tape measure that's gonna be, I think, a little better for the curvature of the car. I bought a bunch of bits, just in case, I doubt I'm even gonna open more than one of these, but you know, I hate to be, I'm far from town, so. I always buy extra and I can return it, whatever. Here's a bag of Hardware from Prinsu. There's some other stuff in there as well. I got the high lift jack and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, should be simple. So you've got the weather stripping here and here. We're just gonna prep the roof. Literally just grab that, peel it, pull that out, set it aside. So yeah, just a little bit of alcohol just to get any oil or Grease. And no, they do not include instructions. So print them off. Get your tape measure. I'm triple, triple checking. 8.5 inches on both the passenger and driver's side, back from the windshield. 8.5. Okay, so now I've got a flat style drill bit, but it has a point. The other one was a drift pin, I guess. It wasn't a punch, so hopefully I didn't mess that up. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Should be good enough. Let's see here. Not the best idea there, but
All right, now I'm switching over to a regular 3 8 bit. The 3 8 cone, or the cone bit, I stepped to the beginning of the 3 8 but this is the long, skinny cone bit instead of like the short, fatter one. So I don't want it to be hitting the airbag that's below it. So I got the beginning started. All right, there it is. So, it's not as scary as everyone's making it seem to be, Jesus Christ. It's pretty fucking easy. Drill a fucking hole, that's it. This should squish, perfect, see? Didn't fit perfectly, it wasn't too loose. Looks good, let me see if we can get a, I don't think you need a close up, I think we're good here. Easy peasy. Now, this is the next step. So you've got these three parts here. You've got the plus nut that's going in there. This is for installation only, and then the bolt. So the bolt goes through with the washer head, goes through right here. So, I pre put everything together and put the actual wrench on there, so I don't have to mess with that at all. I've got the Silicone, RTV silicone sealant. You don't need a ton for this part. Okay, so there's the sealant. Got my 7 sixteenths. So I want this to be the first and last time. So I'm gonna push it down. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so. Pressing this plus nut nice and easy. All right, we're getting pretty tough here, getting pretty tight. Put a little too much silicone, a little messy, but okay. Eight and a half inches. So, this is why I bought multiple bits. Um, this is obviously thick metal, and that first one you saw how fast it went through, so the bit must have worn out enough already. A little worrisome because I only bought four. <laughs> Ooh. That's exactly why I didn't want to use that drill. It's a little bit aggressive, but I think it's all right. Whew. Let's get this. Screw it in, there's the silicone. Gotta be a little cleaner on that one this time. Much cleaner on this one. Nice, that looks good. All right, so I showed a little bit more detail on those than I believe most people have for the videos. Um, so obviously I'm not gonna show you all eight of them, that'd be annoying. But essentially what you do now is put the rack on, do a light bolt, no spacers mark the rest of the holes so they're all in line with these two and then we're good.
good to go. All right, so I've got the front two holes drilled and them lightly bolted in place to hold the rack. Um, and then the next step on the Princely Design thing just says, make sure it's square and mark the rest of the holes. Uh, so I just kind of got it best as I could and it's kind of scary because moving forward, it's like, okay, well, this is it. So. All right, holy shit. Drilling holes shouldn't really be hard, but obviously, you know, it's your car, so it's kind of weird, take your time. But two o'clock is when I started. That includes washing the car. It's 4.49 right now. So in terms of drilling the holes, that's definitely gonna be the longest, hardest part. Now you just gotta go around, put all the plus nuts in with the silicone. And in case you haven't already, it's time to crack a beer. Before you drill the holes, I say stay sober. But once the holes are drilled, snap that. Mm. All right. It's 5.15 and all the, oh geez. Heads up, trying not to get any metal dust in your Silicone, but yeah, all eight are done. Looking all right. I know I was gonna focus on missing the steps that some of the other videos, or focus on getting the steps that some of the other videos missed, but carrying this rack and setting it on silicone spacers that can't be bumped and filming is difficult. So I had three people I forgot about the camera footage, but again, just three people go, set it down, and you fish the bolts through the silicone, kind of push them through, and get them down. Again, Princey does not give torque settings for this. They give torque for the, um, the crossbars themselves, but not the actual mount. Someone stole my beer, so got another one. Don't you worry. Ten foot pounds for now, just to get everything even. Um, I'll look it up in a second and see. All right, I can't remember where we left off yesterday. It was getting dark and cold, um, but yeah, I had three people including myself just lift it set it get the screws in or the bolts whatever and yeah it's looking good i got a ton of accessories from my old one so went from zero to 60 real quick let's see Shot of the bearing, so I have it at the lowest it goes. Um, and there's definitely a gap that it starts to touch the little rubber. Let's see if you can see it there. And it's free again here. There's the Cali Rays LED bar. I'm not sure if that's right, it's still. It looks like it's facing down, but there's absolutely zero adjustment. So I don't know. We'll see once it gets dark. I got the Tule racks on there. Nice little handles. Those are pretty sweet. And I 
always like to have my snow scraper handy. But yeah, it's got to be an epic storm. So we gonna get it tomorrow. But yeah, I'm definitely mostly excited about getting the skis up here and being able to lock them because my friend just got his ski stolen and a cooler in the back of his truck. So now these can lock, that's nice. A little bit more peace of mind. Hell yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Watch some of my other stuff. I'm doing all sorts of cool tundra stuff. In the upcoming future, yeah.